Hi everyone, and welcome to the next episode of the Explain series with your host, Dr. Brett Palmer. Now, I've got a few comments recently asking me to explain the difference between um, sexually transmitted infections, STIs, and sexually transmitted diseases, STD. And why did it change? Why did it go from STDs to STIs? Um, and so this is what this particular episode is about. Well, a sexually transmitted disease is just that. You are transmitting a disease, and a disease, um, according to uh, medical uh, literature and also to medical doctors, is something that gives off clinical signs. And so whatever disease you have, um, you should have uh, signs uh, of that disease. So if it's an infection, signs of that infection. If it's uh, a disease not related to infection, so example, uh, a disease that affects the lungs, there should be signs and symptoms that could be picked up by a doctor that you have a diseased lung or a diseased heart or a diseased liver or diseased whatever. And so a disease shows signs and symptoms. The reason why it was changed is because as time went on and medical knowledge improved, uh, we went from being doctors diagnosing purely based on the clinical disease to now doing tests which showed people had no disease but were carrying certain viruses or certain bacteria. And so these individuals didn't have any symptoms and they were classed as being asymptomatic. And for these particular individuals, uh, saying that they are positive for a sexually transmitted disease just didn't fit because they showed no signs of having a disease. But they did have the tests to say that they were carrying an infection. And so therefore the term uh, sexually transmitted infection was quickly adopted. And a lot of people do carry sexually transmitted infections with no signs of disease. And that is why STD change to STI. And so I am a doctor and I work in an STI clinic. And this uh, area of medicine first came around about uh, uh, during the war and because uh, a lot of the troops that were being recruited to fight in the trenches to fight uh, in the First World War were basically unfit. And a lot of this unfitness came due to, due to because of uh, then sexually transmitted disease. And it was found that in urban areas and built up areas, for example, like um, the cities of uh, London, Liverpool, Manchester, Birmingham, uh, about one in 10, so 10% of the urban population were carrying infections like gonorrhea and syphilis. Uh, this is not good if you're trying to put an army together. Uh, and so uh, genital urinary medicine was uh, started up and invented by an act of parliament, uh, I believe it was 19, uh, around about 1917. And uh, as time went on, uh, these uh, venereal disease clinics, which was what they was called, uh, then changed their name as time went on to uh, sexual health clinics, uh, genital urinary clinics. And now uh, I work in a place called, uh, which is just a health center. Uh, and as well as doing uh, se uh, sexual health medicine, I also do HIV medicine and contraception as well. So that's a, a quick outline of uh, the difference between STI and STD and a quick outline of uh, why we have sexual health uh, in the UK. Many, many countries don't have uh, sexual health specialists and usually I, the men are usually seen by urologists. Um, uh, the women are seen by uh, the gynaecologists, but I think they, they do miss out a little bit and it's always good uh, to have uh, sexual health as a specialty. So that's my um, selling to other countries why you should have a sexual health specialty. But hey. uh, so see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. Goodbye.